हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोडा टीजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 11 फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जीएस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल वर्क ऑन द व्यू सेट एंड राउटर्स राइट सो करंटली वी आर क्रिएटिंग आवर बैक एंड फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो वी आर वर्किंग ऑन द एपीआईज सो वी विल लर्न हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द व्यू सेट एंड व्हाई शुड वी क्रिएट व्यू सेट okay and uh, we will also learn learn about the routers so till now what we have created suppose we have this api okay so we have created the uh, one api for list and one api for uh, you can say the detail right so if i go to this orders then it will show all the orders if i go to one then it will show the uh, order detail okay so let me see that what is the url for order detail so this is order and one order detail okay so what the what view set will do and what routers will do right so view view set is responsible for making all the actions in single url actually it will create a, a different different url but we will register only the prefix right so let me show you suppose we want to uh, we want to create the api for customer address so that customer can uh, add the address edit the address and uh, he can also he he also want to publish the address so we need uh, first of all we need the model then we will create serializer then we will create this api with the help of view set and routers okay and i will explain you that uh, why should we use view set and uh, how we can use okay so we will talk about that so let's create first we will create the model so here we have a model model.py file and let's copy this and paste here right and let's say customer address model right so let's say customer address and the first is customer right and foreign key will be customer on delete cascade related name equal to let's say customer addresses right and uh, another one is address so address will be models dot text field right so now we will return address when we call the object it will default return address okay now let's migrate this so we will run the command python manage dot py make migrations python manage dot py migrate and then finally we will run the server all right now <coughs> we need to create the url and serializer first of all let's create the serializer right so what i will do i'll copy this okay and paste here and let's say customer address and uh, we'll copy this paste here so id customer and address right customer address serializer so we have created the serializer so this is responsible for transforming our data into you know json format or any xml format whatever we want and after the serializer we will call the serializer in the view but now we are going to create a view according to the view set okay so let's see how we will do and uh, what should we do so first of all uh, rest framework import gen generics permission pagination let's say view set okay so view set and we will class customer address view set this name you can set anything 
so we will extend view sets dot model view set right so we will return this now the serializer will be this one okay serializer is our customer address serializer and query set we will return query set where customer is specific customer so we will pass customer id so this will be customer id okay we will pass on the above we will pass the customer id right so here we will show okay let's fetch everything before before we are filtering according to the customer let's fetch everything so this will be query set equal to model start customer address dot objects dot all right so we have created a model serializer views now we will call this view set in url okay so from from rest framework import uh, from rest framework dot routers import let's say default router okay so default router so we will say router equal to default router okay router equal to default router and then router dot i'll explain you router dot register here is the name the name we want in the url so it will be let's say address or let's say customer customer address or uh, okay this is address simple and then views dot customer address view set okay and uh, what else we need to do so we will say router we need to concat we will need to add this router in the url pattern so equal to routers okay so all right now we have registered everything let's try to run this so is everything is default router object is not iterable okay so this is our default router let's see in the reference router dot register okay we need to pass view set or oh, view set we are passing here already so sim routers actually this should be routers let's say import routers so it should be routers dot default router and then router dot register this one view set and url pattern router dot urls this should be router dot urls all right so let's see now so here we are everything is working let's add here address so here you can see that this is showing nothing but let's add address in the admin we'll add some address in the admin first of all we need to add this in our admin so admin uh, and uh, admin dot site dot register models dot customer address all right here we have customer address add customer is customer one this is address one right and let's say this is address two one more field we need to add in this uh, model uh, which is publish or we can say uh, default address default address 
equal to model start boolean and default value will be false okay so customer can set any address default and that default address we will show in their billing information right so um, migration migrate run server right and in the serializer we will say default address all right and uh, here uh, let's say this is address 3 and this is default address save okay so if i go to this here it will show the address list right count 3 data 1 this is address 1 actually the pagination is working so address 2 address 3 let's set the pagination so we will not forget uh, api setting what is the pagination size here one let's say 10 all right so invalid page because three number is not exist all right so this is one two three and this is default address all right so everything is uh, working right so <clears throat> now if you go here we didn't create it the uh, you know we we just created the view set okay so it will uh, the, this view set is responsible for fetch the list data this is also responsible for creating data updating data destroying data okay so we, we no need for to create the uh, single single http uh, method uh, view all right because uh, previously we have created a one view for the list and another uh, function for the detail but now if we are working with the view set we don't need to create the different different uh, functions we just need to add the view set and this view set we need to add in our url router and here we need to define the uh, you know prefix and this prefix will uh, work in the url so if i put here one then this will fetch the detail part of one and here you can see that this is allowing get put patch delete head and options okay so with the view set and routers we can combine all the all the required url in uh, one function okay so this is the benefit of so we just so you just need to focus on the functionality you know, no need to focus on the url okay but uh, Django REST framework also have uh, some option to customize the things but this is the basic thing that uh, we done there are two kind of uh, router one is default and one is simple in the default uh, you will get the API route which will give you the uh, every address of the view set but currently we have registered only the address uh, view set so it is showing address and if we define the simple router then it will not show you the api but it will only show the it will not show the root it will only show the whatever the api is okay so this is the main difference between the default and simple route okay so i hope you understand about the this basic thing about the how we can apply the view set and what is view set and why should we apply right and uh, we have also talk about some we will also talk something about the router so i hope you will remember this and you will create your api with the view set and routers okay okay so thank you so much all i have i have explained to you in the next video we will do uh, we will do the another things okay so thank you so much for watching the video please join this channel so that uh, you just join this channel and send me the message i will uh, give you the source code you can send message directly via instagram or facebook you can also download the django projects from projectsplaza.com so here i have uploaded lots of django project and also uploaded in uh, laravel framework and coordinator framework so you can download and uh, 
this is low cost not very high cost so you can download for your practice okay and uh, yeah subscribe this channel like this video and uh, thank you so much for watching this uh, video so please uh, join this channel and subscribe this channel thank you